Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Coffee in Composer. I've got um, Composer Pro open here on my computer and also um, here on my phone on the AppGyver Preview app. Uh, I've got a cup of coffee here in a Moomin mug. This is an essential item in Finnish households. Uh, and today we're going to be showing you how to make a meme generator app. Uh, it's a fairly simple app, but um, it should show you some of the basic features of Composer Pro, such as variables and uh, formulas, and also some styling elements so we can get that proper meme feeling. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into a demo here so you can see what we're going to be doing. Uh, I've got this make a meme button. So once I select that, it brings up an action sheet. And the options are to either take a new photo or select one from the gallery. So let's see if I select one. I've got some good photos here ready to go, uh, including some funny ones of my co-workers. Let's pick this great photo of uh, Kimmo, who's also from <laughs> AppGyver, in his banana suit, because that's just what we do. Um, yeah, this is great meme material. So now there's a new button that shows up there, and it says meme it. And I've got some top and bottom text input fields. So let's just go ahead and type working at a tech startup be like dot dot dot. <laughs> okay. And then we select it and there it is. Um, I don't know how funny this is, but <laughs> it's perfectly fine. It's a good meme, and it's ready for me to screenshot uh, and share, and um, there we go. But we can also do it by taking a new photo, and I, I can show that now. So it's like that, take a photo. Let's just go ahead and take a photo of this Moomin mug because it's so cute. And there it is. You can meme it and, I don't know, type in Need a hug. <laughs> uh, here is a mug. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Not the best meme, but you get the idea. So let's go ahead and see how we do this. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made a new project, and uh, let's just go ahead and get rid of the defaults here. I'm going to go ahead and drag a button here and change the label to make a meme. Now on this first page, it looked like there wasn't too much going on, but there's actually a few steps involved um, in order to get that action sheet and then to have the picture that you select show up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show how to do that now. So after you've made the button, uh, let's go ahead to the variables tab. Now app variables, as you know, can represent a lot of different things. And in this case, we want it to uh, represent the, the photo that we're selecting. So let's go ahead and make a new one. And I'm gonna call it image, ah, it's already there, image from camera. And this goes for, you know, either the photo that I take or the photo that I select. And now the value type is a local file system path, and that's because it's coming from my phone, which is a local file. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Okay, so that's there, that's ready to use, and I'm gonna need that in a few steps from now. So now here, we have this button, and we need to kind of add some logic to it so to make it do something. So let's go ahead and open up the logic canvas. And uh, there's a flow function for action sheet. And if you don't have it, you can search for it here in the flow function market. I have it installed, so that's where you find it. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it there. Now, the two actions that I wanted to show me are take a photo, and this is installed, pick an image from the library. And now uh, one mistake I made during my trial and error phase of making this app was I connected this action sheet directly to those two because that seems like what I was supposed to do. Uh, but that's actually not going to work. And I found this out from uh, Mevi's calendar, um, no, Mevi's image picker tutorial, uh, which you can go check out on the channel. That's also a great one, very in-depth. Um, but what is needed here is actually an if condition. 
And this is where some formulas are going to come in handy. So I'm actually going to put that there. And the reason is because, you know, there's actually three nodes, three options given with this action sheet. And this if condition is going to kind of tell the action sheet what it needs to do. So but now I can connect that, but this also needs to be defined with a formula. And the formula that I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in outputs. And the one I want is here, action sheet, picked action value. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that. And also what I need here, I need to add in camera. Uh, again, I wouldn't have thought of this by myself. I know this because of Mevi's other tutorials. So if you want to kind of build on this, um, this kind of function, then I recommend checking out that one too. So let's go ahead and save that. Okay. So now that should, that should work. Okay. I pulled up my uh, preview app here on the side so we can kind of test out what we're doing while we're making it. Um, so now if I hit this button, okay, so actually still nothing happens. And I know exactly why. <laughs> this action sheet, um, we've connected it here in the logic, but it still needs to be defined here. So here in the action sheet, we actually have to define the um, the items and that's right now at zero. So yeah, of course, when you tap it, nothing nothing happens yet. So let's go here uh, to list of values and we have to add them. So let's say here that the first one says take photo and value is going to be camera. And let's go ahead and add another one. Now these are actually what the action sheet is going to tell me when I, when I see it. So select photo from gallery and let's put gallery as the value and let's go ahead and save that and let's go ahead and save this. Okay. So now, now that's updated, if I tap the button, an action sheet shows up. Nice. Okay. So those are the two actions I want. If I hit take a photo, yes. The camera shows up, but look at this. If I take a photo, nothing happens. And I'll explain why in a second. Let's see if the gallery feature works. Yes, also. But again, if I select a photo, it doesn't show up. Okay, so let's define this even further. Um, now, basically, what needs to happen is we have to define a destination because right now you're just selecting the photo, but there's no... There's no destination for it to show up in. So uh, what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and do this first. I'm going to put an image here under the button. And okay, there it is. And this is just kind of a placeholder, but you know, we want this, we want it defined so that whatever I select or photo I take, it's going to show up there exactly where I put that component. Uh, so now I need to define these. So the take photo. So here's where that variable is going to come in handy. So I'm going to set an app variable. I'm going to put it there and I'm going to put it here for this one. Going to connect these two, going to connect this and we have to define it. I've already got this. Um, I've only got one app variable, so it selects it by default here, image from camera, but I also have to choose an assigned value. And so I'm going to do that here. And the one I want is I'll put value of another node, take photo. And yes, path, local file system path. That's the one I want. Let's go ahead and save that. And I'm going to do the same thing here, except this time. Yeah, that's defined. Except this time, uh, I want pick image from library, correct? And again, the path. So let's save that. Okay. So 
these are correctly defined, but there's still one thing missing here, and that's this, this value right here. And so we want this defined um, from, you guessed it, the app variable. So let's go ahead and connect that app variable, image from camera, there it is. Uh, one thing you can do if you want is you can set a preview value for this. Um, this helps when you're editing, uh, you know, in the view canvas. And sometimes the image might, uh, you know, collapse the image preview. So if you want to put a preview here, you can select this little icon. Uh, I don't need to do that right now, but that's there. So let me go ahead and save that. Yeah, see what happens here is that this collapses because there's no preview. But anyway, it's fine. We can add something in later. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make sure this button works and we want the image to show up there, right? So make a meme, take a photo or select photo. Let's pick a photo from the gallery. Let's pick this teddy bear this time. Ah, and there it is. Okay, great. So that's the first page done. Uh, see you in the next part.